Hello, Bill Chipton. This is Zathras28 with another video tutorial for you. Today we're going to be making an extractor. Now what an extractor does is takes your rubber wood or your sticky resin and uses it more efficiently. Now, as you see, I have a rubber tree in my, in my pyramid now. I'll get to that shortly. What you're going to need is you're going to need some wooden planks, redstone, some copper cable, and nine refined iron. Let's go up to the crafting recipes, crafting bench, and start crafting. First thing we're going to need to make is a tree tap. The pattern is in pattern is like this. Looks kind of like a big water tap or tree tap gives you one of them. We're going to need a total we're going to need four more so let's go ahead and make those. Unfortunately these do not stack so they will take up a lot of your inventory space if you're not careful. Now as you see you run a, this is your run-of-the-mill rubber tree. What I like to do is I like to knock off the leaves on e either side, on all the sides of it. This way, it allows the other leaves to decay naturally, which gives you a higher chance of getting a sapling. Now, as you already know, rubber trees are rare. And saplings from rubber trees are even rarer so the more you can preserve it the better so what we're going to do with our tree tap is if you notice there's a brown spot on the side of this tree now it's liable to be anywhere on the trunk of this tree from the top to the bottom on either side so you just have to search for it what you want to do is walk up to the brown spot and right click on it this will give you sticky resin this is what you want to use to make rubber out of. You don't really want to chop down the tree, chop down the tree because that means you have no more tree and you have to replant and wait for another one to grow and hope that you get enough saplings to continue. Now also another thing about it is that brown spot will regrow on this tree as long as there are leaves on top of it. So one rubber tree can give you a good supply of rubber over time. Of course you want several of these lined up so you don't have to wait a Minecraft day or so for another one to come up. So now let's get to crafting our extractor. I'm sorry. <laughs> Brain fart there. First thing that you want to do is go ahead so go ahead and make yourself another machine block. Next we're going to be making an electronic circuit. As I said before, you will be making a lot of these. So if you wanted to just if you have the resources and want to take the time, go ahead and make make yourself several. You'll you will need them. Okay? Time to make the extractor. Machine, the machine block goes on the top center, electronic circuit goes below, and put two true taps on either side of the crafting, and that gives you an extractor. Now, the extractor can be powered either by placing it next to your generator, along a copper cable, or having a re battery inside of it just like in any other machine. So let's go ahead and connect it and as you see the generator kicked on to supply with the power. Now what this extractor will do is as you see let's go after our electronic furnace if we put a sticky resin in the uh, furnace it's going to give us one rubber ball. 
if we put it in the extractor it's going to take some time and you can speed it up by putting overclockers and transformer upgrades in the side right here but as it works it slowly fills this the progress bar up and what you get is going to be three rubber balls so as you see it's more efficient you can also put rubber wood in here and it's going to give you I believe one rubber I'm not quite sure I haven't really worked with rubber wood but that is uh, also an extractor will come into play later in the game um, for different re recipes and everything else like that so it's a handy machine to keep around and that concludes the extractor tutorial as always good luck and happy building